Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, um, last time, we actually found some Pinkertons, or should I say the Pinkertons found us. They know where our camp is, so uh, it's only a matter of time before there's a confrontation. Hopefully, we have the boys here, and uh, we can deal with that when it comes. Dutch told us to lay low, so who knows what's going to happen. Or the ladies, you know? They seem like, uh, yes, I'm picking hairs out of my mouth. I had to order a new mustache. I mean, I'm growing a new mustache, so I'm waiting for it to come in because this one is starting to fall apart because I'm suffering from poor nutrition and my hairs are literally falling out of my face. This is real. <laughs> Trust me. I know what it's like having real hairs in my mouth. Um, shut up. Anyway, so with that being said, um, we have to, you know, basically be looking out for the Pinkertons. They offered us a deal, our freedom in exchange for us turning in Dutch, which is not going to happen. Regardless, we actually need to go into Valentine because uh, my boy John apparently wants to go do something. Uh, something's going down in uh, Valentine. So, you know what? That's cool. We're gonna drop in and see what's up because I actually kind of want to see what I can purchase. I really want to get Arthur a new outfit. And uh, if not a new outfit, I'll pick up a new gun. There's a couple of free ones I could probably get from the gun shop. And if not that, then uh, who knows? Maybe there's all types of cool stuff I can do. Anyway, um, for some reason I can't get on Napoleon. Just see that I do. Uh, oh, wait, what? what's happening here? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Um... Uh, oh, oh, okay. So I couldn't get on Napoleon because that weirdo was talking to me. Cool. Sometimes I talk and I don't listen to what's happening in the game and uh, I'll miss dialogue. It's it's problematic, I know. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, it's kind of cool that that guy saved us. He was with the, uh, the O'Driscolls and we were going to kill him, but then he saved us and we're like, oh, all right, what the hell? Join our little clan of outlaws, our little band of misfits. Either way, let's go on and uh, drop in Valentine and uh, see what's up. All right, all right, here we are in Valentine. Biggest, baddest city this side of wherever the hell we're at. Got real bad nerves. Oh, what? I can't work. Can you give me some money? Oh, it's this guy again. We ran into this uh, armless vet and um, he seemed nice enough, but then he wanted to hold me. I don't know what that's about, drink. but uh, let's go on and say what's up. Oh, Hey, what's up, my man? Slip me some skin. How's it hanging, homie? I don't care to see a repeat of past behavior. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? Don't hug me. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. Really? You're like a brother. Mm. I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey. Mickey. You never learned that fella's name. Mickey. Well, now, now I know your name. You'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Mm. Like when your puppy passed, cause you slept on it. What's your name, mister? <laughs> he slept on his puppy? What's wrong with this guy? The name is Arthur. Arthur? Arthur Pinkerton. Arthur? Not an outlaw. My uncle's name was Arthur. Oh my God, uncle no way! Arthur, we called him. Arthur wow! His name. Oh my God! It's a fine name. Yeah. A strong name. Yeah. Like a king. Hell yeah! You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yeah. Yes, you could. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Hey, whoa, 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 where are you going, peasant? I'm the king of this here Valentine village, biatch. Bow down before your king. Poor guy. You could tell he lost his marbles in war. Oh, <laughs> Cannon shell went off and uh, his brains, whoop, went right with it. Poor guy. All right, well, luckily he didn't try and grope me or hug me or who knows what. So I guess that's uh, that's a plus. What, what the hell's over here? Oh, it's the job. I was like, why is the map yellow? All right, all right. I, do I want to go shopping first or do I want to see what's happening here? It's probably best if I do a story mission first before spending endless amounts of time looking for things I can never buy. So let's go on and drop in here and uh, see what John wants. Man, this beard is so damn annoying. <laughs> so, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Ugly enough to Come be on. one. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. 
That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. <laughs> Come along. I am an Let's honest see. person. That's my the train job was a start, but we need more money. Take a strong step. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. Mm -hmm. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we. Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? You know I was what I mean. Pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is. But. But, well. Y yeah. You was at that <laughs> Great thing speech. in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. Aww, I say little doggy. Hello, little doggy. Who's your good boy? Huh? Come here, good boy. Come here, puppy. Aw, don't be scared. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, come here. I want to pet the dog. Oh, he's so cute. I want to pat the dog. Come on. Pat. Pat. Why won't it let me pat? Go, what? I want to pet the dog. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh, it'd be so cool if you could have a pet in the game. Why can't I, uh... That is so annoying. I could study the dog. Um... Blue tick. Blue tick something. I couldn't read the rest of it. Dude. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can't pet the dog. He's probably scared of me. It's it's a good thing, honestly. You don't want to get too close to a man with his, you know, a face like this. I am very ugly. I can make people die on sight. Like, they see me and they have a heart attack, so it's probably for the best the dog is avoiding me. All right, uh, what were we doing again? Uh, lead. Uh, lead. I think my keyboard's broken. Oh, there we go. Okay. Following you, John. You seem to have everything down. You must know what's up, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, see what I did there? Down, up, whatever. Following you. Oh, he's got that repeater I want. Oh! <gasps> post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. So why are we trying to get sheep? Dude, I want to pet the dog. That's so annoying. You should be able to pet every animal in this game, including chickens. All right, uh, draw double-barreled shotgun from horse. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna need my shotgun for some reason. Stay put, Napoleon. I swear I'm gonna pet this dog if it's the last damn thing I do. Come here. Come here, Popo. Come here. Come here. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe don't pull a shotgun out on it. It's fine. We'll, we'll uh... Gun store. Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Yeah! Don't yourself out now. With pleasure, my friend, with pleasure. Don't mind if I do. Howdy. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? I like me a sniper rifle. rifle. Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Absolutely. Open catalog. Sniper rifle. Yee! This is what I've been waiting on. Something a little bit more powerful, something with a scope. Makes my life a little bit easier. Oh, wow, really, that? That is just, that is embarrassing. I can't be caught with that rifle. I want this. That's like a proper uh, military rifle. And I know there was a big ass sniper rifle. I could have sworn I saw one. Like a big sniper rifle, an elephant gun. Um, I don't see it. Oh, I wish I could get that so bad. Eh. Well, I don't see it now. I guess maybe it doesn't exist. Perhaps I'm crazy. Probably the case. I own this one, okay? I want this one so bad, man. It's fine. Well, oh, I can buy a Springfield. Okay. Maybe I'll get that at some point. For now, let's go ahead and grab the sniper. Not a very good looking weapon. It's kind of ugly. Components, barrel. Rifling. Ooh, improved rifling. Okay, I've got a little bit of money I can blow. Scope. Long scope. Yes, please. Stock. Okay. Wide grain. Don't know if that's going to help me, but whatever. Wrap. Ooh, fancy. All right. Styles. Oh, wow. This is so cool. You can get everything. 
Uh, barrel. Okay. I can change what? The color? Uh, how do I do this? Uh, adjust. Okay. Oh, wait, what? I can get gold? Or something that looks like gold. Yeah, that's called gold. Hell yeah, brother. Give me gold. Let's just pimp this gun out. Gold. Gold. Oh, yeah. People are going to know that I am definitely an outlaw with a very deep pocket. Hell yeah. Engravings. Okay. What do we have here? These are kind of nice. Let's go with uh, this one. It's $36. Oh, 36? What? No, that's way too much money. Let's go with the cheapest one. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. You can get the, um, the inlay metals changed to a different color. Let's go with silver. I feel like silver and gold together looks kind of badass. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. All right, I think that's uh, good enough. Leather? You can even change the wrap color? Oh my God, this game is in depth. I love it. Chestnut looks pretty cool. Varnish. Oh, yes. What is that called? Mesquite? Oh, walnut? That looks beautiful. I'm sorry if this is boring, but I love guns and I love guns that look just, I don't know, not classy. I don't know what the word would be. Pimped out maybe? That looks so beautiful. Sort of like a, a nice cherry, if that makes any sense. I think it's called cherry, right? A nice cherry wood. I don't know. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Styles, metals. Did I do everything I want to do? Varnish. Yes, I changed the varnish. I've actually got no or hairs going up my nose and my, I, I want to sneeze. I have the sensation of needing to sneeze. <laughs> and it's going in my mouth. God damn it. Rifle cartridge. High velocity. Let's get a few of these. Let's just stock up on all types of ammo. Um, all right. I think we're good to go. That was awesome. Uh, we can get accessories too. Ooh, I'll tell you what. Give me one moment. I'm going to run through the catalog and see what other stuff I can buy. And uh, then I'll be right back. All right. I uh, didn't find anything else I wanted to purchase. Although, it, oh my God, that gun looks so beautiful. Look at that sexy beast of destruction. I kind of want to upgrade my shotgun now that I think about it. Uh, customize. I mean, I can't have one gun that looks eh, and the other one, whoo. I got to, you know, kind of make both guns look super sexy and badass. All right, so uh, double barreled shotgun. Let's clean the weapon. I'm just gonna run through this real quick. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. 14, okay, rifling, sure. Uh, iron sights, improved sights. I don't know how that's going to help me any. <laughs> I I use uh, dead eye the entire time. Am I right? Wide grain, wrap, ooh hoo hoo. Man, this gun looks so good. Mm. Okay, those are the basic upgrades. Let's go with components, barrel, rifling. Oh wait, I've already done this, haven't I? Yeah, okay. Uh, styles, metals. Let's change this to gold. Your boy has to be rocking straight, solid gold pimp out guns. When people die, they have to know they died to Arthur freaking Morgan, the baddest, meanest, ugliest man in the Wild West. And once I get that new outfit that says I'm like a, you know, traveling casino man, a, um, a swindler, a man of the professional underworld, then I will just be the complete package of badassery. Varnish, stock, okay. Which one of these looked the best? Actually, I think the one that was already equipped looks pretty damn good. No, wait, no, never mind. I want to go with this one, the darker one. Dark walnut. Uh, engravings. Okay, we have uh, full engraving. Let's go with uh, uh, this one. That looks pretty good. Inlays, silver, obviously. These are already done. Uh, leather. I think the leather could look a little different. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Brick red. Although the walnut looks good. I kind of want to have something that, you know, uh, there, there, I want there to be a good contrast between the leather and the, uh, the the wood underneath. So let's go with something a little bit reddish like this. And I think that's it. All right. Newly upgraded gun. Not too bad. Let's get some uh, basic ammunition and some slug shots. And we're good to go. Freshly pimped out guns. Oh, look at me. There's not a single damn person here that's going to mess with me. I've got two guns. 
both pimped out. What's up, fool? You see me? I got money, money, baby. Let's go. Ha! Nice gun. You pleb. You pleb. You you peasant. He said I was a king. I look like a king now, especially with these guns. Now I just need an outfit to match. And I have a yeah. feeling my mustache is falling off my face. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? Yeah. You probably only run off again. Yeah. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Barely. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? <laughs> There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. So what are we doing? Going to shoot the guy that has all the sheep or shoot the sheep? I mean, I'm down for both, but just uh, trying to figure out why I needed a sniper rifle. I'm guessing we're probably going to take out the guy that's hurting the sheep. Also, my dead eye is kind of drained. I have tokens I can use to instantly uh, recharge my dead eye, so I'll probably use them. Get a proper view. Are we going up that hill? Or a small mountain, so rather? I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but... A couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Oh. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Smart. Let's see what we can see from up here. Oh, pretty good vantage point. Got a bird's eye view. Speaking of birds, there's birds right there. Napoleon, do not move. Man, these guns look so cool, man. Look at them. Beautiful. Okay, I can't... Oh, there we go. I was about to say I can't ADS. My mustache is literally okay. falling off my face. I mean, I real hairs. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Hmm. Shoot near the ranchers. So I'm only gonna scare them off? I'm not gonna kill them? Well, that's kind of boring. Yeah, I, I don't. Oh no, they're not scared. They're like, oh, someone's Looks shot. Like Time to have some fun. Scared too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That was right on his toe. That's yeah, that's right. right. Right out of there. I tail it. Get. All right. Let's go round him up. Damn, this gun is awesome. I can't wait to actually kill something with it. Stand by. I've got to uh, <clears throat> do things with my mustache. Sexual things you don't want to see. One moment. All right, all right. Wait, One mustache taken care of. Let's go get the strays. Let's go round these bad boys up. You on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know were dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Is that it? They get shot at a couple of times and they're gone? Cowards. All right, well, you know, if they're that scared of a few shots, especially one that almost took that guy's toe off, you deserve to have your sheep stolen, my man. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. All right, let's uh, get these sheep together. That's right, giddy up, little sheepies. Oh, and get your little sheep ass over there. That's right. Uh, I'm guessing I just ride around them until they kind of group up. Don't get up! Move it, sheep! Oh, did I kill that sheep? 
This will go no, I didn't. Whew. Faster if you shut up, Marston. Come on, sheepy, move. Giddy up, giddy up. Get over there. Any more? I think that's it. Wow, <laughs> they really just kind of get in the little ball, little oh, ball of fluff. That's go. easy. Go on, move a little you sheep. Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride right, Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. Oh, I see. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. Oh, move, sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna kill one of these by accident. So, you were saying? All right, whatever you say. I'm done, Arthur. Go on, move it. I get what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to herd the sheep um, up here to the objective. All right, I think that's all the sheep. They're together. A little ball of fur. Not a little ball, a big ball of stinky fur. Go oh, move it! Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that uh, all these animals are branded, so how are we going to pull this one off? Now oh, don't worry. It's our sheep. Yeah, for sure. We don't have any paperwork to prove it, but no, it's our sheep. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah! The sheep like, oh shit, you hear what he said? No, don't let him talk to us like that. I'll say whatever I want. That's right, yeah, yeah! Move! Move! The sheep understand English. Move it, you dumb fur balls! Am I taking the sheep in the right direction? I hope so. I see a, uh, a target up here, a marker. I don't know if I'm supposed to get them to turn around. Yeah, we're supposed. oh, okay. I guess we're gonna get on the main road and then head up here to town. At least I hope that's the plan. Oh, okay, here we go. They're, they're going in the right direction. Maybe I can drop another curse word in sheep language. Move it up. No, nope, that's not it. Yeah, yeah, that's like cursing in sheep language. I'm gonna turn you guys into a sweater. That's right, get your ass moving. Up, up. <laughs> okay, I can study the sheep for some reason. Merino sheep. Interesting. Yeah, see, these are uh, these are marked. All the animals are branded, so I don't know how we're gonna pull this one Come off. On. Maybe the town of Valentine is just full of idiots. They won't even bother to check paperwork or anything. Oh yeah, we're bringing the sheep in. They're they're definitely ours, totally for sure. That's more like it. Look at him just running in one line. <laughs> well, this is actually not that hard. No, don't you guys go down there. Look at him. They they almost know where to go. That's right. <laughs> they really do. They know where to go. They have an internal GPS. Ooh. All right. Well, that was not challenging at all. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They really do. They, they the sheep knew exactly where to go. Those are up, boys. There you go. I believe that's five hundred dollars. Cash on the barrel. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. They know. Everything all right here. Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Oh, you they know. Put another hole in your head. Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. He just admitted. Oh, um, all right then. Well, <laughs> they're just as dishonest as us. Friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. See, I told you. We uh. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Well, luckily these guys are dishonest. Otherwise, we would have been screwed. Yes. The animals are branded without the paperwork and uh, being known in town. They definitely, they, they knew. They knew we stole those animals. 18%. I 
thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was. Oh, Dutch is at the saloon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, again, luckily, th those guys were dishonest. I mean, we literally stole the sheep right down there, so I'm sure whoever had their, you know, sheep stolen, they ran into town. Oh, our sheep are stolen! On, son, Someone shot. tries to sell them to you, it's ours! Luckily, those guys wanted a big, fat discount. All right. wonder what Dutch is doing here. Kind of bold going into town, huh, Dutch? You're the leader of our gang. I'm sure there's wanted posters all over the place. Sir. Salutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromise. Gentlemen. Dutch, me, Bo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen? Drink? Sure. <clears throat> I have a chocolate Nothing milk. Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Oh! Someone knows Dutch is here. What the hell? Oh, those are Pinkertons. You don't know me. No, never you mind. Keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Good thing you're here. Get We've got some bonds to turn in. Before I have these men killed. Oh. Well, this isn't what good. Do you think? Get out here. Well, I. You you start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Why not? You rob from me, Vandalin. Well, we're never You're turning down. in those railroad bonds now. Now get out here now! Look at Deal him, he's so upset. This, <laughs> this guy's got a knife, come on! Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case your mistaken identity. Oh, indeed. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No one. Here we go, boys. Pop. Oh, shit. Me messed that one up. <laughs> It's the alcohol, it's impairing my judgment. Okay, so I have been through hell trying to figure out how to tag multiple enemies because I have to kill the henchman holding John and the henchman holding Strauss, Strassman or whatever the hell his name is. And uh, I just figured it out. It's Q. What I was doing before is I was shooting one guy at a time and uh, it wasn't working at all. I don't know why it didn't just give me that option or show me on screen how to do it. I had to like look it up because I kept trying to kill one guy at one time and uh, that meant that my other, you know, partner, I guess, would die. But now we finally got it. There we go. That took forever. Man, I'm being shot. <laughs> Let's try and use the sniper rifle to have a little bit of fun. Boom! I'm sorry about what happened back there. I, I, I'm literally an idiot. I am the worst gamer of all time. Oh, what's happening here? Your dad. Your dad. Man, this sniper rifle just kicks ass. What do you mean shoot someone, my man? I've shot everyone. Did you not see me drop five fools back there all on my own in like a fifth of a second? Mm. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, shit. I got to reload. Come on. You're dead. No, never mind. This guy's actually got some uh, resilience. Boom! Hey, I'm not worried about being wide open, my man. Mm, I'm a sharpshooter, baby. Mm. 
coming right through the heart. What the hell's happening here? Uh, okay then. <laughs> Ooh! Look at him coming out one by one, making my life easy. I am so happy I got the sniper rifle. Oh, through that throat. Or close to it, I guess. Ooh. I love this gun. These guys are so dumb. I still can't believe how long it took. I'm not even kidding. I restarted the mission and had to buy my guns over and everything just to figure out what I was doing wrong. Because Deadeye wasn't automatically locking onto targets, I was trying to kill one guy. And every time I killed one guy, that meant the other person would die. I feel so ashamed of myself. I've been playing games my entire life and I still don't know how to play games properly. Oh, I missed that. That's embarrassing. You know what? Screw this. Let me break out my other fantastical customized weapon. Oh, wait, do I not have it? Oh, it's in my saddlebag, isn't it? It is. Damn it. All right, well, whatever. Boom! That's right. I'm about to quick scope this fool. Western style, right through the shoulder. What do you mean, someone help you? We're all helping you. Ha! Right through the ear. Look at this guy. He thinks he's going to try and get away. Ha! Ooh, knocked his hat off! Right in the butt cheek. Well, once again, we have slaughtered an entire town. First it was Strawberry, now it's Valentine. Oh, I need to pick him up. I should probably pay attention. All right, I got you, old man. Look at all these bodies. I need to loot them. Well, two towns down. Like, what, six more to go? <laughs> come on. What the hell are you doing? All right, give me a minute. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, is this the, uh, oh, wow. Of course they leave me behind to deal with the mess. Is this the end of us being uh, close to Valentine? Are we gonna have to move our camp? Oh, please, you guys can't kill me. Check this out. Oh, he shot my hat off! All right, so, Mark? Mark? Come on, Mark, before I run out of Deadeye? Boom! There we go! Yeah, I have to manually press a key now to lock on, whereas before it was automatic. That was tripping me up. Look at this guy, he's over here by the noose. If only I could use it. Oh! All right, fools, yeah, come on over here, see what happens. Really? That's not, that's not a kill? Well, now he's missing his kneecap. Oh, up close! And there's chunks of head flying everywhere. Very violent, but awesome. Got a few more guys. Yeah, we are actually just slaughtering the entire town of Valentine. Just like Strawberry. I'm literally like the plague. Everywhere I go, everything dies. All right, listen, Grandpa, you are so dumb. I can tell you're like a farmer that thinks you're somehow a badass, a sheriff, a deputy. Not happening. And I killed another grandpa. Is that it? Any more brave people that want to take me down? I wouldn't try and uh, challenge a man with a face as ugly as mine. Escape from Valentine. Why do I want to escape, man? This is my town now. See, I own this place. Oh, we got some more cow pokes. You're dead. This gun wreaks havoc. I love it. <laughs> nice one, Chief. Oh, he's not dead yet. Okay, well, let's break. No, stop. Let's break out the revolver. Pop him in the ass. Right through the. Oh, nope. I was about to say through the throat, but he's not dead yet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For an old guy, he is resilient. Fine. You think you can get away from me? Mmm. Right through the eye socket. Damn. I'm guessing if I stay here, they're just going to keep respawning like one after the other, an endless wave of cowboys. Oh, wow, really? The delay when I'm trying to shoot is a little bit hard to try and track enemies and get an accurate shot on the move. Oh my God. And he's gone. All right, I think I'm supposed to get the hell out of here. So uh, let me hop on my horse. 
I kind of don't want to leave though. There's so much juicy loot. Okay, uh, health tonic. Let's take this. And uh, let's break out my sidearm, my sawed off shotgun. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna try and kill the rest yeah. of these guys. You're dead. You're dead. There's no way they just keep respawning, right? I wanna be able to loot these bodies. That's a lot of juicy loot. Oh, execution. I love the little cinematic camera. The little cutscene. it makes it so much cooler. Anyone else? If, uh, you know what? I'm gonna sit here for a minute and keep killing people. If they just keep respawning one after another, then I guess I'll see you at camp. If not, then um, I'm gonna loot this town because there are so many bodies over here. Yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, well, we are back. That is really annoying. They just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. There was no end to the amount of people showing up. I had to escape, which is annoying because there were so many bodies to loot. Why give me the option to loot bodies if I had to leave to complete the mission and when I come back, the bodies are gone? What a waste. What a complete waste. Anyway, that was fun. I'm guessing next episode, we're probably gonna have to pack up and leave our little paradise on the mountain because now Valentine has been slaughtered. Everywhere we go, the smallest thing turns into a slaughter fest. I mean, we went to save one guy and uh, we slaughtered all of Strawberry. We went here to sell some sheep and Cornelius, uh, whatever his name is, railroad guy shows up, we slaughter the entire town. So it seems like everywhere we go, we leave a little massacre behind, which is always fun. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have a new gun now, the sniper rifle, thank God, and it is a beast. I mean, a beast. It's kind of slow on the reload, but still a lot of fun to use. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, leave a comment down below. Next episode should be great. And until then, peace out.